Two teams fighting for the destiny to be a champion. The winner of this game gets the inside track towards the New England Region 21 supremacy. Welcome everybody to Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts as the number four Bristol Community College Bayhawks who come in today 24 and three, storming in 22 and two in Region 21, facing the number six Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs out of Boston. They come in 23 and three overall, 22 and two as well in Region 21. And this has been the showdown that we've all been waiting for all year long. These two teams, the winner of today's game will be the number one seed if they can win out. There's one more game left remaining on the schedule for both teams. Hi, how you doing everybody? I'm David Cardoza. We have a full gym here on college night. We have a DJ in the house. We got concessions. We got raffles. It's a big night here tonight on a Tuesday night. I want to welcome in our Facebook live audience as well as our cable audience on FR Media. Thank you all for watching. It's been a wonderful season of Bayhawks basketball. This is the highest ranking that a Bayhawks team has ever had in their history, in their conception, under Coach Rob Del Lu. And this game is going to be a huge one tonight. Like I said, it's going to be a showdown. The Bayhawks coming tonight, running and gunning. And they are the number two. They, are, they, have, the, they have averaged 97.3 points a game. That is, num that is number two in the nation. And back on December 11th, Bunker Hill on their home court defeated. They gave the Bristol Community College Bayhawks their first defeat at home at Bunker Hill, 79 to 74. Close loss there. One of the only losses for Bristol this season. One of only two losses in the region. So again, this one promises to not disappoint. And these two teams are going to get it on here tonight. Number four and number six, respectively. Bayhawks will be in their green. We have a full house here tonight here at Bishop Conley High School. And we're going to be sending it down pretty soon for tonight's starting lineups. This is a huge, this is a huge game. Like I said, if Bristol Community College, they win here tonight, and if they can win on Saturday against Quid Sigamon Community College, they will have the number one seed in Region 21 come that tournament next week, which is now going to be hosted by Bunker Hill. Um, there's been a leak. There's been a water problem at Massasoit Community College, who originally was supposed to host the New England Region 21 tournament next week. And now that honor will go to Bunker Hill Community College. So next weekend, that place will be a rockin'. And these two teams could face each other again. So we're going to get ready to send it down courtside for tonight's starting lineups by yours truly. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome everyone to tonight's NJCAA Region 21 contest with the visiting Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs and your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. <laughs> Fans, coaches, and players, the NJCAA Region 21 and Bristol Community College are committed to the ideals of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask that all fans, coaches, and players show respect for the opposing team, game officials, and each other before, during, and after tonight's game. Before we get started with tonight's contest, will you please direct your attention to the Bayhawks bench as we recognize two sensational sophomores, Zach Vega and Josh Winbush for reaching a milestone on Saturday afternoon at Northern Essex Community College as they both collected their 1,000th career point and route to a 109 to 74 win. Josh and Zach became just the second and third player in program history to reach this milestone. All right, big round of applause. Congratulations to Joshua Winbush and Zach Vega.
All right. And now for tonight's starter lineups, first for the visiting Bulldogs. Number one, Jacqueline George Balitti. Number three, Jernard Jones. Number four, Jamar Jamarki Coakley. Number 13, Dane Allen. And number 21, Mass Juf. And now, for your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Edgar, a freshman from New Bedford, Massachusetts, number 14, Stanley Freeman. Edgar, a sophomore from Providence, Rhode Island, number two, Dantel Rodriguez. Edgar, a sophomore from Providence, Rhode Island, number 23, Marcus McCarthy. At forward, a sophomore from East Providence, Rhode Island, number 10, Zach Vega. At center, a sophomore from Lake Charles, Louisiana, number four, Joshua Wimbush. <laughs> Bristol Community College is coached by Robert Delu. Now I'll ask that you all please rise for the singing of the national anthem performed by Montana Jakopowitz. That's a beautiful rendition of the Star Spangled Banner of the National Anthem by Montana Jakopowitz. And we're getting ready to start this showdown here from Bishop Connolly High School, the gymnasium, right next to the beautiful campus of Bristol Community College. And there's the Bristol Bayhawk right there. College night, it's a big week of Bayhawks Athletics, big week of Bayhawks basketball. As it's that time of year again as we lean into the postseason. And this is going to have a postseason feel to it. Gym is almost at capacity. Got Bayhawk fans supporting Bayhawk, Bristol Community College Athletics. And then we got Bunker Hill and their fans, and they travel. And these two teams have been at the top of Region 21 for a long time now. Josh Winbush will get set to tip off against number 13, Dane Allen, as we get set to tip off. And there's a tip, loose ball, and the tip won by Bunker Hill. And Bunker Hill will get into their offense. We're underway. 
And this one already has a big time feel to it. Let's see what kind of defense the, Bull the Bayhawks start off. Bayhawks in their traditional white, their home white uniforms with the green trimming. Going into the defense, kicking back out the three, no good. Tipped and rebounded by the Bulldogs. Three pointer, no good. Another offensive rebounded by the Bulldogs and put up and in. Dane Allen. Dane Allen puts the Bulldogs. Oh, nice pounce pass by McCarthy to Vega. And it's 2 2. Driving towards the basket. Going up, going strong up against Winbush and scoring it. Number four, Jamari Coakley. And this one is going to be fast paced. It looks like it's going to be up and down affair. Vega gets trapped in the corner. Inside is Winbush. They're going to call travel. Wimbush seemingly didn't have control of that basketball, but he was doing the moonwalk over there in the paint. Bristol looking to trap at half court. Bristol will make you work for everything. Driving baseline, stepping back out, jumper is good. Jacqueline George Belletti. And it's 6-2 Bulldogs early. Rodriguez, he's got that confidence, that three-pointer is no good. Loose basketball, and the Bayhawks come away with it. McCarthy, the floater in the lane, can't get, the can't get it to roll. Oh, nice crossover. Coakley kicks it back out. Oh, nice dish inside. Jernard Jones. Eight to two. Nice pass there by Jones. Vega at the top of the key, sinks it. Big jumper there. Coakley. Being guarded by McCarthy. Three pointer, it's good. Belletti, George Belletti for three. 11 to four. Bristol down seven early. Winbush. I think if you're Bristol, you gotta get to try to get the ball down into Winbush, although he's got his, he's meeting his match over there against Dane Allen. Loose ball. Stolen away by the Bulldogs. Oh, what an athletic play there by Coakley. Going all the way to the rack. Offensive rebound and scoring it. We get a full timeout. Coach Rob Dell lose and they call a timeout. We're going to take a break here on FR Media. We'll be right back. Honor. Honor. Courage. Sacrifice. Pride our city. Fall River has traditionally been in the forefront of honoring our nation's soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen. Vietnam veterans took the initiative to secure rights to an 80% size replica of the Healing Wall for Veterans Bicentennial Park. The names of over 58,000 fallen heroes will be engraved on the 360 foot long replica wall. 100% of the money raised benefits the building of our Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in Fall River. Help build our wall, which is scheduled to open in 2020. The meaning, the spirit, and the value of the wall is everyone's. Be part of this exceptional, once-in-a-lifetime project. To make a donation, please visit VietnamMemorialWall.org or connect with us at Facebook.com. All right, welcome back. 13 to 4. Bulldogs coming out of the gate, storming out of the gate. 1651 to play. A lot of basketball to be played here. Capacity crowd. This gym is full. This gym is rocking. We get a DJ in the house. Bulldogs in a 2-3 zone. Winbush 
telegraphs that pass, try to find Zachary Vega going to the basket. They, they like to do that. They like to flash Winbush high. He's a good passer. But that was just a bad pass there by Winbush. Bulldogs in zone. I mean, I'm sorry, Bayhawks in zone. Coakley over Winbush. Another offensive rebound by the Bulldogs. That one spins out. Another offensive rebound by the Bulldogs and put in again. Dane Allen for two more. <coughs> and it's 15 to four out the gate. Bulldogs trapping anytime they can. McCarthy forces that one. Another rebound by Dane Allen. Their Bulldogs are all over the boards. They are, they are the aggressor on the boards right now. Three-point shot, the three is no good. Wimbush with a rebound. That three missed by Jannar Jones. Rodriguez comes up the three-pointer. Boy, they needed that. D-Rod for three. Dontel Rodriguez, boy, did, did the Bayhawks need that shot in the arm. And they're going to call a foul away from the ball on Marcus McCarthy. Stanley Freeman will come out. Bayhawks make an early substitution. Malik Charles, number five, will come in. Trapping in half court. Ooh, Rodriguez. I want to guess this is one of the bigger crowds that the Bayhawks have played in in a long time during this regular season. 15 to seven. This thing with Bristol, you got to keep your composure. There's a lot of time left in this basketball. Basketball game stolen by Malik Charles. Charles, the pass to McCarthy, lays it in. Cuts it within six. Great, great job by Malik Charles. Sniffing the pass lane, getting the steal. Now what do we have here? It's going to be a turnover. Fifteen to nine. Not even sure what the call was there, but nonetheless, Bulldogs in a 2-3 zone. Rodriguez, Winbush on the baseline, a jumper, short. Rebound, another rebounded by Dane. He's all over the boards. In the corner, three, Jones, no good. Winbush with those long arms, scrapes, scrapes the skyscraper. The rebound. And McCarthy, they're going to call him for steps. Fifteen and nine. Again, welcome everybody watching on our Facebook Live stream on our Bristol Community College Athletics page. We're also here live on FR Media. I'm David Cardoza on the call. Three pointer in the corner is no good. Another rebound by Allen lays it in. Score two more for Dane Allen. He's been huge on the offensive boards. Wimbush has to box out. Got to put a body on that man. Rodriguez gets it to a swirling. Wimbush lays it in. Maybe that will be something that can get him going. Nice dish there by Rodriguez. Finding his big man, the six foot seven sophomore from Lake Charles. Looking to complete the three point play. His team down six. And a crucial game in the New England region. Three-point play by Winbush, cuts it to within five. The thing is, Bristol could get back into it with their defense, their swarming defense, their traps, and their speed. They kick it back out, Coakley. Nice bounce pass. Gets it nowhere, though. Nice, in nice interior passing there. And number 22, Quincy Taylor, the freshman, he'll score. Rodriguez. I'll tell you what, that Bulldogs defense is all over the place. That ball is going to go into the stands. Yeah, 
Yeah, that Bulldogs defense, they're, they're giving Bristol fits right now. And they're in zone. Bristol in zone as well, then 2-3. With Wimbush in the middle. Three-pointer, pulling up, no good. Wimbush will come up with a rebound. McCarthy looks ahead to Vega. Vega does get control of it. Knocked away. Going to be Coakley. Going back the other way, lays it in. Jamari Coakley lays it up and in. Off the steal. Jamari Coakley did a great job of slapping that ball, tracking it down, keeping it in bounds, and then laying it in. McCarthy drops it down to Malik Charles. Nice job. Nice job to float it over the outstretched arm of Dane Allen. 21 to 14. Allen catches it at the free throw line. Fadeaway jumper, no good. Up high for the rebound. Another offensive rebound, this time by George Belletti. And he has two more. Got to get on the boards. Rodriguez, deep three. It's good. D-Rod for three. Dontel Rodriguez, a sophomore. Twenty-three, seventeen. That's two three-pointers by D-Rod. Dontel Rodriguez. Coakley cross it over. Top of the key. Winbush is getting boxed out. That jumper high. Winbush comes away with the rebound. McCarthy being double teamed. Winbush gonna go, slam it home! Slam it home, Daddy! And that Bayhawks faithful is up in arms. And <laughs> this is what college basketball should be like. 23 to 19. Short jumper, it's good. Off the pass from Belletti. And that was number two, Laku Howard. Rodriguez thought about it. Short jumper is good, Rodriguez. Great job by Rodriguez faking him out on the three-pointer. They got to respect it. And brings it in for a much more doable shot. 25 of 21, and Bristol's right in it. Allen, turnaround jumper on Winbush, way off. You ain't gonna score that way on Winbush with that outstretched arm. Bulldogs inbound underneath their own basket. Somehow, Quincy Taylor gets in there and Winbush didn't see him. He's gonna be able to block that out. And Taylor scores two. On the reverse lay-in, 27 to 21. <laughs> 15 on the shot clock. They switch. Bulldogs with a switch there. McCarthy gets it to the lane. And they're gonna call a foul on number 22, Quincy Taylor. And McCarthy's gonna go to the line. As fast and furious as this game has been, and as physical as it may seem, Bulldogs only with two team fouls, and the home team, the Bayhawks, with one. Wasn't a shooting foul. McCarthy floats it up there, and it will not be able to fall, and they're gonna say it's Bulldogs basketball. 9.29 to play here in the first half. Coakley brings it over the timeline, being guarded by McCarthy. Bristol now playing man-to-man. -man. Crossing over, going up, getting it knocked away. And they're just gonna stay right here. It's gonna be Bulldogs basketball still with 12 on the shot clock. 
Again, Bristol matched it up, man. They do. Fighting for the basketball. And they're gonna call a foul. Thought it might have been a jump ball, but they're gonna call it on, they're gonna call a foul on Winbush. Both teams with two team fouls now here in the first half. And let's see what they call that foul on. It was like a trip. They're going to call that foul on number 35, Craig Thompson. Freshman forward. As you see, in Vega stumble there. Ooh, McCarthy. Oh, McCarthy makes up and under move. Gets the old rebound, and he gets fouled. And that's going to be two fouls on Thompson now, number 35. And actually, no, they're going to call that foul on Coakley. First free throw was good by McCarthy. McCarthy's second free throw is good. Oh, so the inbound pass. Charles going strong to the hole, but then he gets his stuff blocked there by Quincy Taylor. Quincy Taylor with a nice time, time block there. Bristol trying to cut this lead to within two, possibly one. Wimbush, got position. And they're gonna call a foul on number 35. Number 35, Craig Thompson. Number 21, Mass Juif. Mass Juif, sophomore. He'll check into the game. And number 13, Dane Allen, will come back into the game for the Bulldogs. Get it underneath to Winbush, puts it above the glass and in. Two more for the sophomore. Bristol trails by two. Oh, who's getting back on defense? And there's a foul, and that's something that you don't want to do. Mass Juf all alone underneath the basket. And then he's fouled by number five, Deshaun, excuse me, number five, Malik Charles. From behind. Yeah, if you're going to follow him in that instance, if you're going to follow him, follow him. Now a chance for a three point play here. And he gets it to roll. Three point play. Pushing the lead to five. 8 30 to play in the quarter. I mean, in the half. Vega. Nice bounce pass underneath. Charles. And they're going to call steps. They're going to call travel there. Here's the matchup right here. Mass Juf way outside. Loose ball. Freeman with the rebound. Wimbush in the open court. Kicks it back out. Ooh. And they're going to call a foul there. Both teams really playing tenacious defense. Stanley Freeman inbound. McCarthy to Freeman on the wing. Oh, McCarthy loses it. Bulldogs looking to break. Wimbush is there to alter the shot. Loose basketball. Juve comes away with it. Juve from the top of the key. Way too hard. Wimbush had the rebound. Seven and a half minutes to play. Cross court pass. McCarthy high for it. Oh, nice pass in there to Winbush, but he can't handle it. Nice sneaky pass there by 
by McCarthy. Had the right thought. Wimbush just couldn't hold on to it. It's too low. Coming up on seven minutes to play here in the first half. Number four, Bristol Community College. Number six, Bunker Hill. Three-point shot. Can't connect. Rebounded by Freeman. Swinging it to the corner. Vega for three. No good. And Charles, I think they're going to call an offensive foul on Charles going up for the rebound. Nonetheless, it's going to be Bulldogs basketball. Again, Bristol and man, 15 on the shot clock. Jamari Coakley being grounded by McCarthy. Coakley kicks it over to the wing. Inside, Coakley somehow puts it up with the left hand. What a play. Coakley in midair switches it to the left hand, puts it above the glass for an amazing play. Charles underneath to Vega. Almost. Couldn't get it to drop, but Vega's going to go to the line. And that's going to be the seventh. That should be the seventh team foul now. And it is. It's going to be the seventh team foul on the Bulldogs. Bristol, again, the number two scoring team in all of America. Averaging 97.3 points per game. Held a 25 thus far here in the first 14 minutes of this contest. They're an offensive juggernaut. The second free throw gets it to fall. So McCarthy gets that to go. 32 to 26, coming up on six minutes to play here in the first half. These are where the games get most important here in February. Shoe turns around. Jumper no good. Rebounded by Malik Morris. First we're seeing of him, number 24 Malik Morris in the game. Again. Bristol having to work. Rodriguez this time can't connect. Coakley with the rebound. Coakley. Boy, he, when he gets going, he's like a locomotive. And he'll get fouled. He's definitely not scared. Coakley, when he gets the basketball, he's looking to go to the hole. Jamari Coakley, number four at the free throw line, a sophomore guard. Five minutes and 23 seconds to play in the half. Coakley, first free throw is good. Quincy Taylor will come in for Mass Juf. Been a fast paced up and down basketball game, but really not an offensive explosion like, you'd, like you would see. I think it's been a more of a defensive battle. Not a whole lot of shots going in. Second free throw, Coakley gets it to go. Both teams really bearing down on defense. Winbush. Oh! Coakley tried to save it. Saves it to the Bayhawks' hands. Winbush going strong to the hole. And he floats that one in. Great job by Winbush to use his body. Looked like he got contact there, but great job to, to float that one up and in there. Oh! Two pointer by Jernard Jones, nice fall away jumper. McCarthy kicks it in the corner to D-Rod, who kick it back out. Freeman goes baseline, dishes it to Winbush. Oh, where's the contact there? That's gotta be two shots there, it is. Bulldogs playing physical. They're committing fouls too, though. 
And that foul is going to be on Quincy Taylor. Winbush, that rolls out on him. Mass Juf will come in for Quincy Taylor, number 21. Tell you what, Bunker Hill coach, he's doing a lot of substituting, keeping fresh bodies in there. Winbush, second free throw connects. Four and a half to play in the half. Oh, this region 21 showdown. Three-pointer for number three, no good. Rebounded by McCarthy. McCarthy always looking to push. Eyes up court, kicks it back out. Rodriguez a trailer, the three-pointer bounces out. Morris gets the rebound, and Bristol has a new shot clock. McCarthy directed traffic. D-Rod tees it up again, that's way off. Bulldogs will get the rebound. Jones, Coakley, Coakley kicks it back out to Jones. Jones a floater, can't get it to fall. Another offensive rebounded by the Bulldogs. That ball goes out of bounds and it'll be Bayhawks basketball. I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute because this game is going a mile a minute. I just think there's so much, so much intensity and so much tension in this building right now, you could cut it with a knife. Bayhawks been frustrated by this Bulldogs defense. That zone, that zone by the Bulldogs has been very active. They'll swing into the corner. Freeman, the jumper in the corner, no good. Bulldogs really haven't found out consistently how to attack this Bulldogs defense, this Bulldogs zone. And the Bulldogs, one thing that they'll do out of the zone, I mean, they'll trap you, not just in the corner, they'll trap you over on the wing. They'll, they're not afraid to trap up at, top of, at the top of the key. And they're, they're just causing havoc. The jumper by Allen, off the glass and in. Nine point lead. McCarthy, deep three. Uh, I'm not sure if that was a good shot. Coakley, going to the basket. Good pass there. Coakley at the free throw line for two. That was a great pass there off the rebound. Great eyes there by Dane Allen. All right, we're going to take a break here. Here on FR Media, we're going to take a break here on your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt. And I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Welcome back to the gymnasium here at Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts. Jamari Coakley shooting the second half of his, free, of his two free throws. Coakley won't be able to connect. Bunker Hill up 39 to 29. And there's that trap, there's that half court trap. Rodriguez, nice pass underneath to Charles. Thought that there might have been contact. Referee doesn't call a foul. But that's a nice pass there by Rodriguez. Nice penetration. 
attracts the defense and then dishes it down to Malik Charles who goes up strong amongst the trees, giving up some size. Three-pointer coming off, no good. Jalen George Valetti with the miss. McCarthy buzzing like a bee through the teeth of the defense and lays it in. McCarthy comes in and drops the dime. And Bristol just like that within six. Coakley loses control of himself. Another rebound by Dane Allen. He traveled. And the momentum builds here for the Bayhawks. That's the thing against that defense, against that zone, you gotta move the basketball. You gotta be able to penetrate. Charles kicks it out. Nice pick there. You gotta help each other out. McCarthy loses the basketball though. Pass by Juf. Nice body control by Coakley, but he can't get it to fall. Rodriguez. Got to get a good shot here. Oh, McCarthy for three. Can't knock it down. Rebounded by Allen. They do swarm him after, but he finds Coakley. Coakley, Luke throws it out of bounds. Still not sure who he was throwing it to, but nobody was home. Josh Winbush will come in. Great hustle there by Malik Charles. Great effort there. 39-33. Now getting inside, Winbush did a good job of sealing off his defender. And they're going to call a foul on Dane Allen, reaching around. Great job by Winbush to get deep position there on Allen. That's what he's going to do. Winbush has, he's got size, he's got long arms. He's got the height advantage for sure. And you let him get deep on you in the paint. And he's going to score. So they actually called that one before the shot. So this is actually a one-on-one -on -one still. Second free throw was good by Winbush. Twenty on the shot clock, thirty-five on the game clock, and Bristol has tightened this one. It was a ten-point lead. They'll dump it in, inside, and knocked away. Great defensive play there by Winbush. Rodriguez trying to sneak into Winbush. Going to be on the floor. Coming away with it. 13 on the game clock. Underneath, Vega can't connect. Bulldogs will probably have the final shot. Coakley going to the basket. Nice block attempt by Vega. Going to put it up, going to put it up. And it wouldn't have counted. McCarthy just a little bit too late. But Bayhawk, the Bayhawks with some good defense there, there at the end. And what a first half. What an exciting first half we had here. This place is rocking. Stay tuned for more second half action for a second half action just here in a little bit. 39 to 35, the Bulldogs have the lead here at the half here on FR Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. All right, welcome back everybody to the gymnasium here at Bishop Connolly High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts, where the Bunker Hill Community College Bulldogs have a four point lead over the number four team of the country, the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. And the story really of the first half is Bristol just hasn't been uh, able to keep the Bulldogs off the boards for second and third chance opportunities. Number 13, Dane Allen. I mean, that guy's been all over, all over the boards for the Bulldogs. And Bristol coming out the gate kind of sluggish. 
and having a tough time with the Bulldogs defense and figuring out that zone and how to attack it. But nonetheless, they trail by four points. And the battle right here for Region 21 supremacy. Vega out the gate, three-pointer no good. And we're getting started here on college night here at Bishop Conley. Home of the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. We're underway here. Bulldogs with the basketball. Jalen George Belletti. Bristol will start off playing man. Looks like they're playing man right now. Coakley gets it inside. Quincy Taylor, fadeaway jumper, no good. Oh, but the offensive glass has been a problem all game, and that's 12 points for Dane Allen. Most of them come off offensive rebounds. Again, I'm David Cardozo on the call here for Far Media. Wimbush, short jumper in the paint, can't get it to fall. Rebound by McCarthy, and they're going to say that he stepped out of bounds. Got to be patient against the zone. When you're going against zone defense, got to be patient, got to move the ball around. Guys got to be in motion. Helping each other out, setting picks. Coakley drives to his left, goes up strong, try to muscle it up, can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Rodriguez, and then he got trapped and threw an errant pass, which goes out of bounds, and it's going to stay Bulldogs basketball. Bulldogs up six. They try to lob it in, and stolen away by McCarthy, and he's going to get fouled in the open court. And I believe they're going to call that one on Dane Allen. And that's his second. Well, if there's one guy you need to get out of the game, it will be that guy right there. Dane Allen's been killing him on the boards. Winbush. Winbush loses control of the basketball, and they call a jump ball. Possession arrow is going to be in favor of the Bulldogs. I think both teams just so evenly match. Coming into this contest, nearly identical identical records here in Region 21. And both teams with only three losses overall. Short jumper baseline is good. Jernard Jones, he's got four. 43-35, eight-point lead. Vega. A little short hook is good over Allen. That's who they need to get going right there is Zach Vega. 1,000-point scorer. You heard it early on. Zach Vega. Honored. Earlier today, Winbush with the rebound. Almost lost it off his foot there. Luckily, Rodriguez was there. Vega. Drive it to his right. Off the glass and in. Get that guy going. He's got nine. Back-to-back -back baskets by Vega. And the lead is four. Coming up on 17 to play. A lot of basketball to be played. Don't you go away. Coakley. Guarded by Freeman. Spinning in the lane. Lose basketball. Coming away with it is Rodriguez. Swoop it to the hoop. Lays it in. Bayhawks within two. 43-41. And here's where the pressure comes. Bulldogs coming in. Coming in from Boston. Coming into a Roshis gymnasium. On the road. That leaner is no good. McCarthy out ahead. Vega can't track it down. McCarthy led Vega too much. Those two guys are those two guys are always on the same same page though. Vega and McCarthy, that connection. Watch the oh, 
Rodriguez going for the basketball, knocks it away. Vega to McCarthy, lays it in, tie game. New basketball game. Bulldogs had a, a lead as big as 10. Bulldogs had a lead as big as 10 or 11 early on or in that first half. And now there's a tie game and a long way to go. Kick it back out, 10 on the shot clock. Three pointer, no good by Jones. Underneath, and they're gonna call a foul on Winbush. Quincy Taylor. But again, how many offensive rebounds are you gonna let the Bulldogs get? Bristol getting killed on the boards. And Quincy Taylor will step to the free throw line for two. Second, second foul on Josh Winbush. There's two free throws, what are you doing? I think even the referees lost track of that one. It was a shooting foul. Second free throw coming up here. Taylor looking to break the tie. And he misses both free throws. Vega with the rebound. Rodriguez pulls up for three, and he sinks it! And the Bayhawks crowd loves it. And the Bayhawks had their first lead of the evening. 46 to 43, here we go. Here we go. What are you gonna do with the pressures on you? Allen over Winbush, jumper is good, silences the Bayhawks crowd. Dayton Allen likes that step back jumper. Ooh, Winbush catches it deep, puts it up off the glass. Ooh, can't get it to fall. And Allen with a rebound. Ooh, Belletti. Allen throws it out. Allen, bounce pass out of bounds. 46 to 45. Tell you what though, that shot by, that's, that shot by Allen responding to the Rodriguez three, that was a big shot. Bayhawks build on the momentum. Freeman kicks it back out, Rodriguez for three. Ooh, can't get it to fall. Oh, Rodriguez coming out of nowhere, boy, that guy. Boy, Rodriguez, boy, that guy can hustle, man. D-Rod coming out of nowhere like a free safety. I don't even know how we got to that basketball. That was like Jason McCourty in the Super Bowl breaking up that pass to Brandon Cooks. Came out of nowhere. Driving all the way to the hole, strong! Thrown away by Freeman. Rodriguez in the open court, going the distance, has it blocked. Tipped. And they're gonna call a foul, a push in the back. Rodriguez with great hustle there, but I would have, I would have, two on one, I would have, I would have passed that ball. Nonetheless, McCarthy will go to the line for two. Marcus McCarthy, he's the leading scorer for this Bayhawks basketball team. He's also the floor general and the engine that makes this whole thing go. Averaging nearly 19 points a game. Sinks both free throws. Josh Wimbush 
and Zach Vega, both honored earlier this evening for their 1,000-point accomplishments. Only second and third player in history. Ooh, they're going to call a foul. Who's the foul on? They're going to call the foul on Dontel Rodriguez. Foul away from the basketball. That's going to be his first. Third team foul for the Bayhawks. Underneath, Vega. But right over, right over him is number one, George Belletti. Jalen George Belletti. Pulls the Bulldogs within one. Rodriguez dumps it up to Winbush. Oh, nice pass there by Vega inside to Winbush. Score it. 50 to 47. Winbush has 14. They'll get inside of Coakley. Coakley backing in Freeman. With the left, no good. Oh, nice save by Coakley, but right into the hands of a Bayhawks player. Oh, nice, oh, nice move in the open court by Vega. It's Vega time. Back the other way. Allen blocked by Winbush. Losing it out of bounds. Vega with the pass to McCarthy. And this Bristol crowd is getting electric. And all of a sudden, Bristol has a five-point lead. And Bristol CC, the Bayhawks, five-point lead. Looking to make it six. McCarthy does that. Malik Charles will come in for Winbush and spell him for a little bit. And how about McCarthy? Sinks both free throws. It's getting electric in here. 54 to 47. Coming up on 12 minutes to play. And they're going to call Marcus McCarthy on the drive for the foul with a bump. 14 foul for the Bayhawks. And that's the third on McCarthy. Now he has to continue to be aggressive on the defensive end, but still, got to watch it. These referees are blowing the whistle. Thirteen on the shot clock. Allen on Charles and. Score it, Dane Allen. Couple more for him. Well, now he has the height advantage. That's Charles is at Winbush. McCarthy into the teeth of the defense, goes to the rack, and he gets fouled. And McCarthy's starting to feel it. He's going to the rack at will now. I think it's safe to say the Bristol, uh, the Bayhawks here have figured out the Bulldogs defense. They're attacking, they're attacking more, they're being more aggressive. There's better ball movement. And they're starting to get fast, and they're starting to get fast break points. They're rebounding a little bit better, so. And McCarthy. Makes both free throws, 56 to 49. Seven point lead with a 12 with 12 minutes to go. From Fall River, Allen backing in. Oh, stolen! Stolen by McCarthy. McCarthy buzz it like a bee, lays it up and in. And there's a timeout. Actually, no. Turnover by the Bulldogs. Bayhawks basketball, a nine-point lead. Freeman tried to get inside. 
too hard to Vega. There's a three-pointer, no good. Rebound, and the putback is good by Jalen George Belletti. And a foul in the backcourt. Foul in the backcourt is going to be on number one, George Belletti, who just scored the two prior, 58 to 51. Still, obviously, a lot of time left in this one. McCarthy directing traffic on the zone. Again, that zone very active. Charles sets a pick. Freeman goes baseline, and he loses it. Belletti in the open court. Jones cross court. Three-pointer. It's good. Where did that come from? Deshaun McLaughlin. Okay, timeout on the floor. Bayhawks are going to call a timeout. 58 to 54, 10:52 to play here, in here in the second half, here on FR Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt. And I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Coach Rob Delu, in his 10th season since the inception of this Bristol Community College Bayhawks program, getting his troops motivated, rounding up his troops as they hang on to a 58 to 54 lead. Bayhawks took their first lead here in the second half, believe it or not. Ooh, they double out of the zone. Getting inside, Vega works it up and in, score it, he'll go to the line. The Bayhawks faithful loves it. Two more for Vega, and boy, they needed him to get going. Well, he's a scorer, no doubt about it. He could score in a different, many different ways. He can beat you in many different ways. I mean, there's a one go-to guy, a swing man, that can go get his own buckets as Vega. Driving to the hole. And they're going to call a blocking foul. Like looks to be on Winbush or Charles. Foul's going to be on number five, Malik Charles. That's a good thing for the... That's a good thing for the Bayhawks, because that would have been Winbush's third. Second for, second for Charles now. Step up to the line is number 35, Craig Thompson. Freshman forward. What a crowd here tonight. What a display. Electric crowd, great atmosphere. Thompson will miss. These are the moments that you play for as an athlete, as a player. And especially in college basketball, getting here in late February, approaching March. And these are when the, the moments get bigger, the stage gets grander, and the second free throw is nailed by Thompson. Approaching the midway mark here in the second half, Winbush catches it over the timeline. Ooh, McCarthy drives right to the hole. 
like a Swiss Army knife. Like a Swiss Army knife through melted cheese, he sliced right through the hole. 63 to 55. And McCarthy's getting off, man. McCarthy and Vega. And that ball goes out of bounds. Turnover. McLaughlin loses it. And Bristol pushes it up, has pushed it back out to an eight-point lead. McCarthy darting into the lane. And McCarthy has figured out this defense. I mean, he is, he's able to get to the line. He's able to get to the rack. You got to attack it, and that's what he's been doing. And McCarthy not able to hit the free throw there. But boy, has he been dynamite here in the second half. McCarthy hits the second free throw. Up nine. Coming up on nine to play. Coakley drives to his left, puts it up, off the glass, out, off the window. Coakley does a such, such a great job of using his body and able to put that, able to float that out the window. Good body control by Coakley. Look at those hands there. Good defense. Coakley loses it in the open court. Winbush to a cutting. Vega throwing it down. Bringing the house down. And they like it. 66 to 57. It's Vega time. Two hand monster slam. 66 to 57. Biggest lead of the game for the Bayhawks. Coakley gets into the lane and he won't let, he won't go quietly into the night. Stolen. And put back in by Coakley. Stolen by Belletti. And a quick four points. And it's a five point game. Vega for three. Dales it. It's Vega time. Hello. Give me a towel because I need to wipe my mouth. Oh my goodness, we got a barn burner here. Ripping it away, McCarthy. Ooh. It's gonna stay Bulldogs basketball. Boy, it's been all Zach Vega and Marcus McCarthy for the Bayhawks here in this second half. And they're gonna call a foul. Looks like it's gonna be another one. It might be on McCarthy. And he's got four, and he's in danger of getting, he's in danger of getting uh, fouled out of this ball game. That's not good. A lot of time left to play. And you cannot, you lose your primarily, primary ball handler, your floor general. And McCarthy will come out of the game. So now you probably see Dontel Rodriguez handle the basketball a little bit, Stanley Freeman. But not true point guards, though. Yeah, when you talk about Dontel Rodriguez and Malik Morris, those are guys that play off the ball. So we're going to see, it's going to be interesting to see who will be the point guard. They get inside, Coakley. And they're going to call a blocking foul. And they're going to call a foul. It's going to be in the, both teams are in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Both teams have 17 fouls with 7.57 to play. So both teams will be shooting free throws here on out for each, for each foul given. And the free throw is missed. Winbush fights for it. 
He's got it. Wimbush in the open floor, like a gazelle. Ooh, had it knocked away. Freeman saves it. D-Rod for three. Oh, boy, this house would have came crumbling down if he had made that. What a rebound by Winbush. They swing it. Malik Morris for three. No good. Charles with another rebound. Winbush, nice bounce pass to Morris. BCC with a 10-point lead. 71 to 61. And Vega. Vega comes in for Winbush. He'll take a breather. Well, this is shaking time right now for Bunker Hill. They need to get something going. They need to make a little run here. Because right now the momentum is all Bristol and there's another turnover. What a tale of two halves. Bunker Hill controlled the first half. For the most part, I mean the Bayhawks came on strong late in that first half. Nonetheless, it's been all Bayhawks here in the second half. Go into the basket. Vega can't get it to fall. And they're gonna call a jump. And they're gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna stay here. Bayhawks basketball. Under seven minutes to play. Number one in Region 21 on the line. With the loser actually in danger of falling out of the top two with CCRI right up there. Loser, is, loser of this game could possibly, potentially, be number three. Timeout on the floor, 71 to 61. We're gonna take a break here with 6.47 left to play in the game. We'll be right back here on FR Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt, and I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. <laughs> All right, on college night, this place is shaking here at Bishop Conley High School, home of the Bristol Community College Bayhawks, who have a 71 to 61 lead, 10 point lead right now. Zach Vega has been impressive here in the second half and has really helped catapult this Bayhawks team to this 10 point lead that they have right now. A lot of emotion, a lot of intensity in this building right now. College night, we got giveaways, raffles, concessions. Want to give a shout out to Dahmer Powell and the Bristol Community College dance team for a great performance at the half. Great halftime performance. So shout out to Dahmer Powell. With another amazing performance as always. Three-pointer. That was a deep three. Freeman, no good. Rodriguez at the elbow. Gets it inside. Back out now. Freeman around. Rodriguez takes it. Short jumper. Can't connect. Offensive rebound. A tap, no good. And then McCarthy, he's going to go to the line for two. Marcus McCarthy back in the game after stepping out for a few with foul trouble. That foul is going to be on Jamari Coakley, number four. That's going to be his third. McCarthy excellent from the line. I mean, he just buries these free throws. 
I was talking about how Marcus McCarthy leads the team in points per game with nearly 19 a game. Second free throw is no good. I think I jinxed him. McCarthy also leads the team in assists with 8.4, which places him at number one in Region 21. And on the other end, we have a turnover. Actually, we have a foul. And that's going to be the fourth on number four, Jamari Coakley. Giving the Bayhawks the basketball. 72 to 61. Coming up on six minutes to play. Vega being trapped in the corner, kicked away back out to McCarthy. Charles, nice fake. They're going to call a travel, though. Yeah, he took that step without putting the ball to the floor simultaneously. They called Charles for steps. Like I said, this is shaking time for Bunker Hill. They need to cut this lead down. What is the call there? And they're going to call a push. They're going to call a push on the inbound play. And the foul is going to be on number one, Jalen George Belletti, the sophomore guard who just came out of the game. And that's going to send the Bayhawks in. I thought it would have been the double bonus. That's 10 team fouls. That's what our scoreboard reads. Rodriguez gets it in to Winbush. McCarthy at the point. Working that zone. Winbush, Freeman. Freeman to Winbush for two. Nice job by Freeman. The penetration and the dish to Winbush. 74-61, uh, Bristol has opened it up to a 13-point lead. Jumper in the corner by Taylor, no good. Tracking it down McCarthy, and he probably should have let that one go out of bounds as he steps on the line there. 5-19 to play. Bristol didn't, did not play their best basketball in the first half. And they had themselves a 13-point lead. Five minutes and 19 seconds from taking over the lead in Region 21. Coakley kicks it into the corner. A three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Freeman. McLaughlin couldn't connect. And it's going to be Bayhawks basketball. Bayhawks have really controlled this game here in the second half. We've got a little chaos and a little. And they're going to say it's Bulldogs basketball. Coakley. Jumper by Mass Jupe, and that was a big one. Cuts the lead to within 11. Mass Jupe from the elbow. Mass Jupe trying to get his troops going, number 21. Wimbush gets it inside. Vega working his way inside. Vega time. And Zach Vega has put this team on his back. Two more for Vega. 13 point lead. Four and a half. Almost four and a half minutes to play here. Ooh, Freeman jumped the gun, jumped into the pass of lane, tips it out of bounds. 14 on the shot clock. Bristol holds the Bulldogs here. I mean, 
I'm not sure how many more possessions the Bulldogs are going to have. This is a big possession right here for the Bulldogs especially. Ten on the shot clock. This is where Bristol wears you down, making you work deep into the shot clock. And they're going to call a foul. I think it's going to be on Dontel Rodriguez it is. Rodriguez commits the foul. McLaughlin at the line. And McLaughlin gets that one to roll in. Seventy six sixty four. Second free throw is good. Wimbush handling the basketball. Not probably not who you want handling the basketball right now. Freeman. Well, they're trying to keep it out of McCarthy's hands. And Coach Rob Del Lu's going to take a timeout. With three minutes and 54 seconds to play. Timeout on the floor. We're going to take a timeout. Bayhawks have the lead. 76 to 65. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Brianna, and this is my mom, Virginia. My mom always dreamed about going to college, but with a full-time job and a family, I don't think she ever thought she could. Thanks to Bristol Community College, she was able to go to school on weekends, online, and close to home. Now she has a degree with very little student debt, and I can keep dancing. Now is the time to get the education you deserve. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Welcome back to the gymnasium at Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River where the Bayhawks, the Bristol Community College Bayhawks have an 11-point lead on the number six team in the country, Bunker Hill Community College. Bristol coming into tonight's contest, the fourth team in the country. Both teams 22-2 and two in the region. This, this has been looming as a showdown since they met in December when Bunker Hill gave Bristol its first defeat. Winbush. They're losing it, losing it. Going back the other way. Jumper stops the pops off the glass, no good. Jones couldn't connect. Bristol with the rebound. Now if you're Bristol, gonna make smart decisions. Both teams in the bonus. Just going to be careful with the basketball. McCarthy back out. Rodriguez tees it up for three. That would have been a dagger. That would have been it. I'm not sure if you still need that shot, though. Rodriguez was going for the dagger. McLaughlin dumps it in. Winbush and Rodriguez double teaming Boletti. Eleven point lead, three minutes, two seconds left. And now you send the Bulldogs to the line. Just a bad, I think, uh, just a bad sequence there. Rodriguez on the other end had the open three, but I think they probably could have got a better shot than that and run some more time off the clock. And then on the other end, committing that foul and giving the Bulldogs a free, well, now a free point, but 10 point lead, three minutes to go. Bayhawks with the basketball. Full house here tonight. College night. Oh, nice pass inside. Nice penetration there by McCarthy. And that's why he's the leading assist leader in Region 21. 
And Vega gets fouled underneath, and he's going to go to the line for two and try to extend this lead for Bristol. And Vega gets that one to rattle home. And Vega can't connect on the second one. 11 point lead. Bunker Hill needs to get something going. Jones, good defense here by McCarthy. McCarthy all over him. They just can't get to the rack. Short jumper of McLaughlin, and that was a two that they needed. Timeout on the court. Bunker Hill calls a timeout. And we'll keep it right here. 77 to 68 with two minutes and 19 seconds left. Big shot by McLaughlin. I think it, the atmosphere just speaks for itself. 77 to 68, two minutes and 19 seconds left. Zach Vega has exploded here in the second half. He had five points in all the first half. I mean, he was shut down. Didn't do much offensively in the first half. And he's got 17 here in the second half. And he's been an, offense, he's been an offensive juggernaut. He now has 22 on the night. And subsequently, he's the leading scorer for the Bayhawks. And he's been huge. Shows why he's in a 1,000-point scorer here in his sophomore season. As Bristol looks to end this season the way that they haven't ended it before. And that's being Region 21 champions, the champions of New England, and advance it to the national tournament this year in Minnesota. Going all the way to the rack, McCarthy, and they call it travel. That's a big turnover right there for Bunker Hill. McLaughlin being covered by Vega. McLaughlin. And it's gonna be tipped. It's gonna be tipped by Wimbush. Out of bounds, 77-68, minute 44 to play. Big possession by Bunker Hill. And what do we have here? And they're going to call a foul on Freeman. And both teams are going to be in the double bonus. So both teams from here on out are going to be shooting two free throws. So both teams out of the one and one now, and that's a... That's a big foul there. And Coakley calmly sinks that first one. Eight point lead. Bristol had a 13 point lead. It's now cut down to eight. Coakley can cut it to seven with a minute 44 to play. Second free throw missed. And a lane violation this time on Marcus McCarthy. Coakley missed the, missed the free throw. And now he'll have another shot to cut this lead into seven. With lots of time left. Dontel Rodriguez, D-Rod getting this crowd hyped up on the other end. And Coakley missed it. And that's a big miss. Defense, 
Boy, they're all over McCarthy. They don't want the ball in his hands. Freeman, 15 on the shot clock. Bunker Hill needs a stop. And I think Coach Rob Dell loses. Let's call a timeout here. And we'll keep it here. 30 second timeout. Minute 25 to play. Bristol with the basketball, 12 on the shot clock. Bunker Hill desperately needs to stop Bristol here. Can't foul him. No fouls. It's been a great night, been a great evening for college basketball. In the earlier contest, the Bristol women, the Bristol Bayhawks women lost to the Bunker Hill Community College women in the earlier contest. Great effort, though, by Bristol. Great hustle, great effort. Showed a lot of heart and showed some fight earlier this evening. Men's team hopes to have a better fate. Right now they have the lead, eight-point lead, and the basketball. So let's see what happens here. On the inbound. They'll dump it in. Winbush, turn around. Can't get it to fall. Rebound by Allen. Bunker Hill still alive. They get into the corner. Coakley kicks it back out. Three-pointer. No good. Allen gets it knocked away. Coakley somehow finds the range off the glass. And what do we have here? I guess no call. Winbush comes off the court. It's a six-point lead. Now it gets dicey. Two-possession ball game still. McCarthy. And they're going to call a foul on number five. Deshaun McLaughlin. And that's something that they didn't want to do, I'm sure. And it becomes a free throw contest right now. And that's a big free throw. That makes it more than a two possession ball game, 78-71. And McCarthy hits both free throws. 79-71, big free throws there. Three possession ball game now. Coakley goes to the rack, gets it blocked. And it will stay Bulldogs basketball on this end. 49.1 seconds left. I think if you're Bunker Hill, if you have a three, you need to take it. Or you need a quick two. Step back, jumper. Rebounded by Freeman. Gets it to Rodriguez, up ahead. Vega, ghosted. Oh, can't get it to fall. If he had to throw that one down, this place would have unraveled. And they call a foul. <laughs> Boy, it's just, this thing's going to be interesting if these two teams face each other in a week and a half. In a tournament to be hosted now by Bunker Hill in Boston, the city of champions. First free throw was made by Malik Charles, 80 to 71, 37.6 seconds to play in this one. What, what excitement, and maybe excitement like this, we can get better crowds here in the future. The leaner, no good. By Bellini, and he's gonna go to the free throw line. As we are approaching the 10 o'clock hour. Again, thank you all for watching on our Facebook live stream on the Bristol Community College Athletics page. Facebook. First free throw was good. Nine point lead. 
And barring some kind of strange circumstances, the Bayhawks are going to have the inside track towards the number one seed in Region 21. Rodriguez goes in. Can't get it to fall. Bileto. Coakley goes up and lays it in. And it's a two-possession ball game. Timeout on the floor. And it's going to be a full timeout taken by the Bulldogs after that make. Now, Bunker Hill is going to have to commit a foul. There's no shot clock. 19.3 seconds left. There's no choice but for Bunker Hill to foul. So the best bet for Bunker Hill is for Bristol to miss its free throws here down here at the end of the game. One contest remains on the Bayhawk schedule, and it's been a full schedule this year. 27 games, this is the 28th game for the Bristol men, and they have one game, the last home game, will be, be the last home game for these sophomores. So it will be sophomore night, the game is in the afternoon, February 23rd, this Saturday. So for all you locals who want to come out and support the Bayhawks in their final home game before they head into the postseason. And the final home game for these sophomores, guys like Joshua Winbush, Zach Vega, Marcus McCarthy, Dontel Rodriguez. On the inbound pass, stolen! And they're going to call a foul. But great defensive setup by the Bunker Hill coach. I mean, Bunker Hill almost had the steal there. Rodriguez will go to the line. And one free throw should seal it. And he drains it, as you expect he would, with ice water in his veins. Rodriguez, second free throw, rolls out. Coakley looking to push. Three-pointer. No good, coming off, rebounded, loose ball. McCarthy comes away with it. And that's going to be it. McCarthy throws the ball up in the air. And the Bayhawks on college night in front of a full crowd have beat Bunker Hill Community College 82 to 75. And they're loving it here in the river. And these two teams could face each other again. And it could be in Boston, and it could be for all the marbles for New England to reach a 21. And for David Cardoza here on FR Media, there we go. Thank you, Steve. Just a quick wrap-up. Number four, Bristol Community College with a huge victory here tonight. It was everything that we thought it was going to be. There was energy. It was a great defensive battle. There was, struggle. there was a struggle, and in the end, the Bayhawks, I mean, they just turned it on in the second half. They figured out the zone. And our Bayhawks player of the game is going to go to Zach Vega, 24 points tonight. And he's going to be our Bayhawks player of the game here on college night. We have one game left on the, on the regular season schedule, and it's going to be this Saturday, February 23rd. We have a doubleheader with uh, the women's Bayhawks team facing with Sigamon Community College right here. I'm um, at Bishop Colony High School, and also the Bristol men will be in action. And if they win this Saturday, they will have the number one seed for the New England tournament, in which the, uh, the winner of the New England tournament will advance to the national tournament in Minnesota. So that's a big game, too. But right now, BCC, I mean, the Bristol men, they have the inside track. What a night here tonight. What a spectacular night. The energy in the crowd, everything was just great.
want to thank you all for watching our our live stream on Facebook and thank you all for watching live on cable. So for David Cardoza, I'm your play-by-play -play announcer, Steve Reese, and the fancy camera work. The final score, 82 to 75. The Bayhawks are winners. See you Saturday.